Hello, good people. It's uh, been a couple of weeks since the previous uh, last uh, video. So anyway, we have today. So anyway, we'll do something today for you. We have, I found, I saw an, an interesting article in uh, a 2014 uh, magazine about if after, God forbid, a heart attack, what should one do to, uh, as far as uh, exercise, one should exercise, one should, what are the good foods that one should eat, and uh, attitudes one should have. Let's get to the article right now, so we shouldn't waste any time. Here we go. After the attack. After the attack, a cardiac, a cardiac crisis can motivate needed lifestyle changes by Linda Malone. Years of eating pizzas, steaks, and hamburgers added up to excess pounds and yo-yo dieting for Ken Walker, 62, who struggled mightily with his weight. A mild heart attack when he was 54 required two stents, small mesh tubes to open blockages in a cardiac artery. But it took a double bypass several years later to finally get Walker to commit to a healthy lifestyle. Quote, I recognize that if I didn't make a dramatic change in my eating habits, another two and a half years later I might not be alive, says Walker, a freelance writer and editor in Huntington, West Virginia. Afterwards, Walker enrolled in the Dean Ornish program at the hospital where he had his surgery. West Virginia University's Robert C. Bird's Health Sciences Center, developed by a pioneer in the field. The plan is generally recognized as the first program scientifically proven to reverse heart disease progression. It consists of a very low-fat vegetarian diet, aerobic conditioning, stress-easing relaxation te techniques, and group support to help participants deal with emotional in in issues that can contribute to or result from heart disease. Quote, switching to a vegetarian lifestyle made all the difference in the world, said Walker. It marked an amazing turnaround. He had he'd lost more than 20 pounds after three decades of watching his, watching his weight steadily climb, and he's kept off the weight... For more than five years, he admits he occasionally, quote, cheats and eats chicken along with the vegetarian fare that's part of the Ornish plan. Let's hear some more about this now. After the attack, follow a heart healthy diet. Stephen, Stephen T. Sinatra, MD, FACC, author of the Sinatra Solution, Metabolic Cardiology, Basic Health, recommends the Mediterranean diet for heart attack patients. While most healthy diets rely on fruits, vegetables, fish, and whole grains, quote, the crucial, the crucial aspects of the Mediterranean diets are nuts and olive oil, said says Sinatra, quote, both are very healthy because they contain healthy fats and they boost the good cholesterol, HDL levels. Kale, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts are Sinatra's top three vegetable picks. He also favors avocado and coconut. Oh, so that's good to know. Kale, asparagus, and Brussels sprouts. Those are Sinatra's top three vegetable picks. He also favors avocado and coconut. So avocado and coconut are also very good for the heart. Sinatra suggests eating minimal amounts of white flour, gluten, and wheat. To reduce inflammation, he also says you should cut down on sugar consumption and to reduce your intake of omega-6 oils. What's more, Sinatra recommends cutting out all trans fats, all trans fats which pack a double whammy by both lowering HDL and raising LDL, bad cholesterol. Foods containing trans fats include chips and other snack foods. Fried items such as donuts and chicken nuggets, cookies, cakes, crackers, muffins, pie crusts, 
pizza dough and frozen dinners, among others. Avoiding these artificial fats may become easier through the Food and Drug Administration. Avoiding these artificial fats may become easier, though. The Food and Drug Administration has determined that trans fats, known as partially hydrogenated oils, are no longer generally recognized as safe. GRAS setting the stage for the elimination of these oils from processed foods. So it's, so it's, it's determined that trans fats known as, par as partially hydrogenated oils are no longer generally recognized as safe, GRAS. So therefore they're going to try, they're going to set the stage, stage for the elimination of these oils from processed foods. Researchers believe eating the right foods may be more important than weight loss in fending off heart attacks. Men at risk for heart disease who followed a heart-healthy diet reduced cholesterol levels regardless of whether they lost weight, according to the study presented at an American Heart Association meeting. Among 19 men ages 24 to 62, those who followed a Mediterranean-style diet over 25 weeks lowered their LDL by 9%. The LDL is the bad cholesterol. So the men that, did, that from 24 to 62, they followed a Mediterranean-style diet over 25 weeks, lowered their LDL, LDL by 9%. The, the Mediterranean diet has is the diet where that's where vegetables, fish, and whole grains are stressed and olive oil they're stressed they're stressed. Of course olive oil is, can be doesn't have to be stressed, you know, like a, a I heard that a minimum amount of olive oil. But it shouldn't be not taken altogether. But anyway, vegetables are very, vegetables, fish, and whole grains. Fruits also, of course, fruits also. Health, heart-healthy supplements include omega-3 fatty acids, such as the marine fats DHA and EPA. Quote, squid oil is high in DHA contents which makes plaque more resistant to rupture, says Sinatra. He also recommends coenzyme Q10, magnesium, and rebose. See the backs on page 42 for more supplement information. Heal your inner wounds. Unfortunately, not everyone gets a second chance after a heart attack. Paul Epstein, ND, who conducts a mind-body practice in Westport, 